Hey everyone, so this is the demo for a blind contour drawing. As I mentioned in the directions, you want to pick an object, a drawing tool, pencil. The object I'm going to use today is uh, Elmer's glue, and then something to draw with. So just, just to show you how this is going to go, I'm going to set up the glue out of frame, okay? Now, what you want to do is, when you're drawing, you want to keep your eyes directly on the object that you chose. Now, you can't see from the video, but when I start to draw, I'm going to keep my eyes fixed on the glue tube in front of me, just out of frame. Okay, let's get started. So when we start, again, keeping your eyes directly on the object, you can start to draw very slowly. Again, I'm not looking down at what I'm drawing. My eyes are directly on the Elmer's glue tube. Now a couple things you're noticing as I'm starting the drawing. I'm trying to draw every little thing that I see. So all the lines at the nozzle of the glue tube. And something else you'll notice is that I'm moving very, very slow. Now the reason I'm moving very slow is that I want to be able to get as much detail as possible. Okay, I'm going to start to draw the rest of the nozzle. Another thing you might notice is as I'm drawing, I'm using one continuous line. Now the reason for this is if I pick my pencil point up, I might lose my place and I want to be able to draw as much detail as possible and not lose my place. Okay, we'll start to draw the actual tube. Again, moving very slowly. Again, I'm not worried about making a perfect drawing here. That's not the point. The real reason we're doing this exercise is to improve our hand-eye coordination. As artists, we need to be able to look deeply at things and then translate it through drawing, painting, and other sorts. Okay, so I think I have most of the bottle. Again, I'm not looking down at what I'm doing. I'm going to try and draw some of the label. We've got this little house here on the owner's glue. I'm going to try and do the letters. This is really kind of tough to do these letters, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Again, I'm not concerned with drawing a perfect picture. Okay, so we see Elmer's. Moving just a little quicker now. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to come back. Trying to do these letters are really tough, but again, just have fun with it. If you have something with writing on it and you feel like it's giving you a really tough time, you could always skip over it, no big deal. Also, if you're drawing one object and you feel like it's giving you a really tough time, switch the object, it's no big deal. You know, as artists, we get to uh, kind of make up rules as we go in our work. And we have a certain type of freedom that other subjects don't have. So we want to try and keep that in mind. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so again, comparing side by side, doesn't look anything like the actual glue tube. But that doesn't matter, okay? This is just a practice exercise to start improving our hand-eye coordination. I hope you guys have fun with it, and I can't wait to see your drawings.